What's up everyone and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video here on my channel today. My name is iCrazyTeddy and the guys over at Treyarch Activision Call of Duty just released 5 brand new multiplayer gameplay screenshots that we're going to be going through in this video debunking and we can learn a little bit more about the game but I thought what would be a better time than now to go through the 12 out of 18 already confirmed score streaks in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and then of course when I need to I can match them up to the new images that they have provided of gameplay and I think this video is going to be absolutely awesome for those of you guys who love getting those high kill streaks. With that being said, before we begin, let's see if we can get maybe three likes on this video. I'm not sure if it's possible, but if you guys are hyped and in the BO3 mood, let's smash three likes, give it a big thumbs up, and let's get this video started. Also, if you guys want to check out the images of these score streaks in the multiplayer menu, some dude who is probably playing took a screenshot, and I put it on my Facebook page so you guys can do that once the video is done. And like I said, the general gist is that we're going to be going through the Black Ops 3 score streaks, and primarily I'm going to have Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background, and then when I have an image of one of the new score streaks that they actually provided us in the new gameplay screenshots I'll be sure to show that and then of course match it up so you guys know exactly what it's going to look like once you get into the game I'm going to be going through these really really quickly keep in mind that the values for these could change because the game is still in early access alpha so you know if I say the UAV is at like a 400 score and then when the game comes out it ends up being 450 or 475 then please don't get mad at me let's get this list started so 400 score UAV, you guys already know what the UAV does, unmanned aerial vehicle reveals the enemy's location on the minimap, 425 score we have the HCXD which is kind of like an RCXD but it can actually hover and drive up walls which I think it's pretty sick, it can also thrust jump which is uh, not sure how that's going to work but it sounds sick. 525 score we have the dot this is an anti-personnel drone which has missiles that lock onto enemies or maybe that you guide kind of like the missile strike from advanced warfare and then right at the end you have one missile that you can unleash after the other three coming in at the number four spot we have the 550 score streak you guys might love this the care package this actually drops in a random score streak according to some of the guys who have been playing it this does take a little while and can of course be shot down and doesn't come from like orbit in advanced warfare so we're back to the good old care package and hopefully in this year's rotation Treyarch hasn't included an ammo drop that comes with it because they were really really frustrating and annoying almost as annoying as getting a teddy bear out of the mystery box coming in at the number five spot we have the count uav this is actually going to be unlike the uav it's not going to be an unmanned aircraft this is going to be placeable on the ground harder for your enemies to actually take out and definitely more effective at the number six spot we actually have the lightning strike exactly the same as black ops 2 three missile strikes very very op not sure how many times you can ping the actual thing but I think it's going to be nice to have this kill streak return. Coming in at the number 7 spot, we have the Talon or Talon. And this is a remote control escort drone. It's unmanned, or you can have the option to actually control it yourself. I guess this is kind of going to be like the drone from Call of Duty Black Ops 2, where we had the Firefly, whatever the hell it was called. Pretty nice. Not sure if it's going to shoot rockets or actual bullets. In the number 8 spot, we have another drone. This is the Severus. This is kind of like the AGR or the mini tank from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I kind of did like this kill streak, it was a little bit underused, but still, aesthetically, it looked pretty awesome. For number 9, we have for 1100 score the Wraith or Rat, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, and it's actually an aerial attack stealth chopper with the same cloaking device and stuff like that. According to Team who's actually been at E3, and I'll link his channel down below in the description, he says this actually lasts a little while longer than the stealth chopper did in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and is really, really effective. At number 10, we actually have the fan favorite dogs returning. However, these are going to be slightly different than the casual dogs that we saw in the previous Black Ops titles. These are going to be like Sonic the Hedgehogs deploying and uh, these are actually known as the RAPS R-A-P-S and basically a ship deploys that drops robotic and sea personnel as sentry drones and I'll show you guys an image or the screenshot that uh, the guys over at Treyarch actually gave us. Massive spike walls that run around, chase people. It's going to be hella scary to be chased by one of those. Coming in at the number 11 spot we have the combat drone. This is going to be like some next level timefall robot that actually follows the owner or the owner can actually set this to protect a designated location and can be set on patrols for a certain area like i said the guys who have played the game for example tmart said that he actually put this on a certain flag while playing domination and it was pretty effective and the whole team can rush to another objective while the robot controls it he also mentioned that it wasn't as effective when following the owner and, and definitely can be put into better use by setting it in a designated location last but certainly not least this is number 12 out of the 18 score streaks that we all already know this is the high score streak confirmed by David Vanderhaar himself the mothership in game it's actually going to be a VTOL 
with uh, three gunners. The first gunner is actually going to be for the owner itself with a primary gun and rockets. And the other two are just separate MGs that can be used by friends and teammates. So this is going to be OP. Unlike anything we've ever seen before, now we can get a VTOL warship slash chopper gunner your friends can sit on two different sides and you can sit on the primary gunner with rockets and machine guns to control yourself. Hope you guys really did enjoy the video. I went through these super super quick. Once again if you want to take another look at them I'll leave a link to a Facebook post down below in the description that just shows you what they look like in the in-game menu. Let's see if we can get three likes on this video for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I am so hyped and November can't come any sooner. As I'm making this video, we are 4 hours, 47 minutes, 26 seconds, and 138 days away from Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Join me on this amazing journey by subscribing. Take care and peace.